Hello, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I've got chickens that seem to think that they've got to come onto my entertainment area and where they're coming through is on this little section here, which is next to my pool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a wee bit of fencing here, but I don't want to put the normal fencing, so I'm going to try and do a little bit of a decorative fencing that is a bit invisible that will keep the chickens out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach some wire to these posts and then take it all the way to the other side. To make the main part of my fence I'm going to be using this 2.50 millimeter galvanized tie wire and that's what I'm using to build the fence and to do the zigzag pattern. The length of my fence is 2 meters 80 that I'm going to be installing. So what I'm doing now is I've just got some of this 2.50 millimeter galvanized tie wire and I've cut out a small template like this which has got a 10 centimeter gap and what I'm doing is placing the end piece over the bent wire like that and then taking my pliers and lining it up with the other side like that and then just bending the wires to make a zigzag pattern. Because my little fencing is going to be sloping at quite a steep angle and this wire will probably slide down, what I've done is I've taken some panel pins and I've just knocked them in there and then bent them up to secure the wires so that they don't slide down my column. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be attaching my zigzag pattern to the top wire and I'm trying to make sure that each of the distances between each of the bends is 15 centimeters from point to point and then I'm just going to use some 0.9 millimeter wire to attach them all to the top wire. For the little 0.9 millimeter wire I'm putting little strips of 15 centimeters each for attaching to the main wire. To attach my wire to the top I've used a figure eight weaving wire pattern so that it can hold on both sides because if you don't and you just attach it to the middle it's going to slide. So I've used that particular pattern. Now when it comes to the end of the wires I've used the same pattern just so that people don't get hurt on that. So I've used the weaving wire, the figure eight, at the start and at the end. What I'm doing now is I'm just attaching a piece of wire like this so that I can work out exactly where to put the zigzag pattern on the bottom. So you can probably measure it but this way it just gives me an idea of how the wire is actually going to hang so that I can attach the bottom ones. For the body of my fence I'm going to be using this wire which is a 1.57 millimeter wire because I don't want anything too thick. It's advisable to wear gloves when you're working with wire. To make my pattern for all my designs what I've done is I've taken a piece of wood and I've knocked some nails into it. I've knocked them out. One is sort of like partly in the center of the wood and the other one is marked a little bit to the left of the other nail and the distance between the two of them is one meter. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my wire and I'm wrapping it around my two nails to give me my design. Because my fence has graduated I'm going to be having to make different sizes. So for the first one I'm going to be taking four meters of the wire and you're going to have to straighten it at the best that you can and then I'm going to be wrapping it around my nails four times.
After checking my footage that I did and trying to show you how to do this particular piece for the body of the fence, it was very, very difficult to see what I was doing. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to show you a smaller piece and show you the technique that I used to create the big pieces. They're going to look slightly different because when it's smaller, the circles obviously are closer, but you'll get the idea. So now assuming that these pieces are all one meter long, so that would be to make the three pattern. So what I'm going to do is try and squash this part as small as what you can get it. Just go easy on it so you don't break it. So we've got it like that small. Do the same on the other one. So now as you can see this one is a three strand piece. So we've got one, two, three. So to start it off with you're taking one of the sides that has got the one leg that is loose like that and then what we're going to do is at the top here just holding it in your pliers it's better to use a round nose but as I said the wire is very strong and I don't want to risk my little one so twist it once put the pliers in again rotate it again and again and then start just making the circle a little bit bigger So you've got your circle like that. Now what we're going to do is the inside wire we're going to just pull closer down like that so that it extends out like that. Then when we get to the next part that has got the join in we're going to rotate this in the opposite direction so putting your pliers in again and bending it and swapping the rotation watch swapping the pliers around and rotate again and then start creating the bigger curl going through it so now you've got something that looks like that. Then once again pulling this one and then shifting it out to the side to create the next kind of wave. So because this one's just a half one it's only going to be a half wave so just moving it, bending it and you're going to rotate this one inward as well. Twisting it, change the pliers, twist it again, and then start making the bigger circle by just twisting. And then the back piece, the same where we're going to just take it and finish it off by pulling it back as well. and curving it over and then rotating it in that direction as well. So once again, putting the pliers in, twisting, and then your pattern should look like that. But now just in, these ones are all one meter long so it creates like a little wave. So these ones are all going to be going up along the fence in that direction. To make the partitions for my fence, I'm using the 2.50 gauge wire and measuring the gap between the top wires and the bottom wires. Now because my fence is graduated, 
I'm cutting each of them at a different length. So the first one is at 1 meter 30, but I'm allowing it 4 centimeters extra so that I can get that little curl on each of the partitions. Obviously, if you're doing a straight fence, you're not going to be doing graduated, but my graduation goes from 1 meter 30 all the way down to a 22 centimeters, which is this tiny little one here. And then for the swells, once again, they are done at different sizes. So for the first one, there's just one swell in it. So I have two swells at one each, and then two swells at two each, and then three swells at three swells each, and then the last two are done at four swells to make up for the gap between the fans. Then I'm going to be wiring these small pieces onto here in the same manner with the figure eight so that they don't wobble like that. So I'll be doing it one at the top and then the other one at the bottom. To wire all the pieces on I'm going to be using the 0.9 millimeter wire. I've got 18 strands of wire that I'm going to be wiring in. So what I've done is I've cut 25 centimeters of the 0.9 gauge wire and I've just folded it over and now I'm going to just wire that one in. So I'm just threading it through the loop to start it and then I'm going to just wind this one around the top once and then around the base. I'm going around that twice. around the base wire of the other side and going around that one twice as well and then back around base wire up over the top twice And then with the other wire, I'm going to do the same thing. Going across, round the bottom, up, back down, around, and up again, over the base. So it's quite nice and secure now, it's not going to wiggle. And then just finishing off at the back. And then you're going to do all 18 of them. So pretty much you'll be doing 36 because you have to do the bottom ones. The bottom ones here as well, so that they don't wiggle. And then when I put the swells in, I'm going to be touching them at the top side, this side, and at the bottom. So anywhere that the wire touches another wire, I'm wiring that on. I've wired all the pieces together now. So that's what it looks like. And the extra thing that I put on the bottom, because I've only been able to attach it to that damp pipe, and as you can see, it's plastic pieces at the bottom. I couldn't tie supports on there. So I've just added an extra piece at the bottom so that it goes all the way down to the floor. And for the wires that are going around the post, all I'm going to do is I'm going to spray paint them black so that they're not so visible. So I've just spray painted them black. I'm going to just use this gloss clear and coat the fence with that just to stop that powdery grey forming. So there's my little fence completed. If you found this video helpful or you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it if you would subscribe. 
Thank you so much for watching.